Hey, what's up everybody? This is your boy, Dr. Jared Vasquez. It's the fight weekend. Time to talk shop, talk about the fights that happened on Friday and Saturday. Let's talk about Kevin Lee and Rafael Dos Anjos. Oh man, uh, heartbroken for Kevin Lee. Uh, super happy for RDA. Uh, he certainly needed that win after coming, coming up short uh, against Colby Covington uh, and Kamara Usman. Um, so he's been put through the grinder. So it was his time to put somebody through the grinder, and that one, uh, that one person was Kevin Lee. And Kevin Lee, I love Kevin Lee, man. He's a great fighter. Uh, I thought that he was gonna give uh, Khabib down the line a little bit of trouble, um, but it's cardio, man. Cardio, cardio's kind of funky. Um, he's he's a very good fighter, but fatigue, um, it's the deciding factor there. There's nothing else. Uh, sometimes we think that we get a little bit stronger as, you know, as we go to another weight and you don't have to go through that weight cut, but it's give or take, man, because you're gonna be holding more mass and that means that your heart is gonna have to feed that mass. You know, uh, there, uh, that, that's, you have to put that in a balance. Of course, you know, if I fight lighter, I have that weight advantage, the torque advantage, and maybe a little bit of more power but if I'm bigger, I'm definitely gonna have to feed that muscle and your heart is gonna have to feed that muscle and all, all through the muscle and your mass that you're not cutting and you're not, that weight is mass, it's tissue, it has to be fed. There's arteries and arterioles and capillaries going to that muscle. So you have to feed it. So your heart is gonna have to pump more and you're gonna have to bring oxygen to this area. So it might give you uh, easier ride to the fight, so you're not cutting, you're not dieting, you feel more comfortable, maybe you're building more muscle. We saw, we also, Kevin and uh, Wei, and he looked massive, he looked bigger than usual, but his cardio just went, just went. I, I saw it uh, coming and going around the second, second round, and his, uh, his fight plan was, as he usually does, you know, striking a little bit on the feet. He, was, he had good moments there but he reverts to his, not reverts, so he, he goes to the grapple, you know, boom, 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 strikes, grapple against the cage, trying to get that single leg, trying to get that fighting for that double leg. That quickly became uh, his undoing because all that lactic acid and all that, all that, uh, you know, he's grinding, burning sugar, you know, burning his resources, building lactic acid, so he's getting tired. Uh, so I don't want to be a one that critiques. So maybe the strategy was being a little bit more economical with his physic physical resources. You know, your strikes, all that stuff. There's a finite amount of strikes that you can throw uh, with a finite amount of strength so you don't get tired. So maybe that measured, eff measured effort to not utilize all your resources uh, would be a little bit better. So being a little bit more economical with takedowns, being a little bit more surgical. And I know it's it sounds, you know, kind of cheesy, but GSP, uh, really, he's a great mathematician in terms of uh, what he spends, what he spends on fights. Think about strikes, uh, takedowns and effort as a currency. So you have enough to spend. So maybe not spending them as often, Kevin Lee, uh, but he's a young guy, man. Kevin Lee's super young. He's a stud wrestler. He's a great fighter. I know he'll figure it out, but I think that the factor that he needs to figure out uh, is definitely spending his resources in a measured way. What do you guys think? Put it down there in the comments. Thank you for your likes and shares. Continue, continue binging on my channel. There's more videos. Dr. Vasquez, out.